Oh, this is working better than I thought. <laughs> working better than I thought. Alrighty. Except for all the knockback. Oh well, looks like we can just weather it. Um, so compared to Eye of Cthulhu, this feels decidedly easier. <laughs> Although, having all that shadow armor is helping, I'm sure. Hey, buddy. Yeah! Wow. Okay. <laughs> so that was, uh... That was kind of easy. <laughs> it makes me want to farm them now. Well, let's put some... Loot into... Oh, hey, this is a sacred time. I'm about to open the treasure bag. What are we going to get? What are we going to get? I'm so excited. I hope I get a dev set. Woo, 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 woo. Nah, we just got the worm scarf. Oh, but it's got warding on it for defense. Oh, what should we... Oh, what are we not really using? Uh, I think the plant fiber cordage is got to go. Because, yeah, almost 20% less damage. That is amazing. Lovely. And buffs on. And let's do this. Ah, another shadow orb. I got a shadow orb when I summoned him last time too. Ah, I can't get past this block. Are you kidding me? That's better. And we're off. And I might just do a left and right one this time. Wow. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. But it's the same as the destroyer. Like, I feel the destroyer is the easiest out of the mech bosses too. It's just the way it is because it's stuck to the ground. It makes it an easier boss. Wow. Ah, okay, treasure bag number two, let's put Piggy down again, where's Piggy? Let's drop some more loot in, we've got to make way for all this loot guys. Yes, we'll make way, alright, you got your fingers crossed, let's get a dev set, come on. You know you want it, I know I want one, boom, no, <laughs> oh well, still good, we got a second one, we can sell it or something like that. I'm thinking, just for the fun, let's fight the Eye of Cthulhu one more time and uh, let's give our Water Bolt a try this time because I think it's going to be okay against it. And we've got such high armor and defense now, it should go a lot smoother. Um, so yeah, and we might get one of the cool dev sets by having another fight with him, which is uh, pretty fun. So yeah, yeah, as you can see, we're taking like no damage from him. <laughs> Poor Eye of Cthulhu. You used to be so strong. Oh gosh. So yeah, so it's a good chance to get some more resources and we'll get some more Cthulhu shields to, to sell. Uh, another benefit is we might get a better modifier. We've got melee speed. It would be nice to get damage or something uh, like that. Okay, it's about to power up. And I know I could have made a um, pretty easy box for the water bolts to bounce around in, but I don't want to be too cheesy about all this. Uh, same for the um, Skeletron. Uh, I'm not just going to make a water bolt box. I'll try and beat him a different way. I was thinking uh, we could... I was thinking of trying to get the Meteor set, um, and that will help a lot as we start. Oh, speak of the devil, <laughs> a meteorite just landed, cool. Hey, let me regen my mana, you crazy eye. There we go. Just gotta sit still for a bit. Hey, cut it out. Oh, I can just bounce him off the ground, yeah that'll work. <laughs> Okay, might have to swing my katana. So, we got another treasure bag. Let's see what we get. Guarding. 
Uh, I think I'm actually going to take that over the melee speed. That's pretty useful. So what I was thinking is we'll get our some parts of our new farm set up. So I counted the width of the garden room and it's 21 blocks wide. So let's get 21 of those. And uh, yeah, we'll get that started. Which is really cool. I mean, we'll still use the clay pots because we can't get all of the beds yet. But it's definitely going to get us started nicely. Um, actually, I probably could leave those rows for now and just start the new ones. So I thought it'd be cool to... I've got so much demonite ore. I thought it might be cool to... I normally like to put some of the blocks underneath um, just to sort of theme it like this so you put like the deathweed beds on top of like a death like a corruption sort of block so there we go and demonite ore doesn't corrupt so that's kind of cool and I've got three deathweed steeds, steeds <laughs> seeds to get that started so let's see let's get those in I mean you can put any seed in the box it doesn't really matter but I'm wondering if you get bonus seeds or something for putting the right one in the right box. We'll find out. And I'm going to upgrade the walls in this area later. I wouldn't mind using pearlstone bricks. I really like those. I think they look wicked. But for now, we'll just make do. We'll just make do for now. And uh, let's see. Blink root grows on dirt, but dirt's a bit boring. We could put it on our new dynasty wood. Let's see how that looks. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, looks pretty cool. Uh, yeah, actually I don't mind that. So let's get that down. And blink roots. Blink root goes so quickly and easily. It doesn't take long to amass lots of blink root. As you can see, I've already got 19 seeds of the stuff. So, the strategy here is to just hurl lots of bombs into the meteorite. Um, and that way we won't take the burning damage and get rid of these meteor heads a lot quicker. So, let's just make a little pathway across, get some lights up. It also makes it easier to fight all these meteor heads too. There we go. Just dig a little pocket for the bombs to fall in and we're set. And that's going to speed things up big time. And then all we have to do is uh, dig it here. So bombs have a six block wide explosion radius. Whoa, nope! <laughs> oh, that crab almost got me killed. <laughs> yeah, bombs have a six block wide explosion radius. So if you can work around that, you're golden. Oh gosh. Stop moving through the blocks. Okay, we're good, I think. So just, I know this looks a bit long-winded, but it will help get them. Oh my gosh, how noobish. Oh, good old meteorites. Maybe I should just get an obsidian. Oh, I think I've got an obsidian skin potion. So let's uh, see what we can make with our tons of meteorite we got. Oh my gosh. Gee, that seemed to give a lot of it. But the meteorite, the meteor heads drop all now too. So five. And the shadow set has... Shadow set's got better defense. But this has the space gun. <laughs> Good old space gun. Axe and hammer together. Yeah, it's hard to say no to that. That's a pretty good upgrade. And, oh. Uh, look, I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it. And we're going to try and fight the Queen Bee without using the space set, the meteor set. And if I get into trouble, I'll use it then. How's that sound? I just. For me. 
It just doesn't feel like a challenge using it. Here we are at the jungle. It's night time. And we haven't really explored down into it yet. So I'm kind of interested to see what adventures lie in wait for us down in the depths of the jungle. Hopefully uh, we survive. I've put my money in the piggy bank as a precaution because I know how quickly the, uh, the hornets and all that can get a hold of you in here. So I've also brought a Spelunker potion um, because in the jungle, like you can see here, uh, Spelunkers are a great way to sort of see things that you'd otherwise miss um, because I would have gone straight past that chest usually. And especially we're looking for those awesome ivy chests which are normally in the shrines. This is just a normal wooden one. Oh, herb bags, yes. They are so useful. Like I, I thought they'd just be really average but you get a good number of the different types of herbs so really can't complain. And we're going to collect a nice amount of mud here so we can start our um, underground mushroom biome. We can also make an overland one to spawn the truffle. Cool, night owl, that'll help. Let's use that straight away. Uh, I don't need that, that's just for normal. Eater of souls. And the journey continues. So, ooh, is this an underground? Oh my gosh! Oh, these, oh, those mines are so cheap. Ah! And now we're gonna get attacked by goblins. Oh my god! I was so distracted by this illustrious double room here. Well, it's go time. Let's fight some goblins, and we'll do it from our arena. Uh, goblins shouldn't be too bad, I don't think. Don't think so. And hang on, isn't there all those new items from the goblin invasion now? Oh, that's right, from the sorcerer. There's some new goblin enemy. Which will be interesting. And loving that Cthulhu charge attack, that's really good. And I know I've got sunflowers down, I'm not actually complaining because that'll help keep the mob spawn counts under control. There we go. Beautiful. Not much they can do about Water Bolt. Lovely. That should just be a good chance to get some cash too. There we go. Unless... Does that new goblin only spawn in hard mode mobs? Maybe. Not sure on that one. There we go. A few more. Is each goblin like 1%? Yeah, it seems so. And done. Just gotta finish the stragglers. And here we are back at the cruel, cruel scene of our explosive uh, exit from the world earlier. And I'm interested now that I'm not dead to check out what is actually in this room and hopefully it's worth it. <laughs> so, let's have a look. Ah, excellent, another band of regen. I actually need that because I sold the other one accidentally and I didn't mean to. And oh, no way, there's a second room. Awesome. Okay, we have to find a way to get up here and battle this evil slime in glorious battle. No, I'm just going to get up there. <laughs> it's only slime. Oh no, but not the bees! <laughs> oh, is this... Wow! There's so much happening at once. There's mushroom biome. Information overload, guys. Ooh, a king statue. Yeah, we'll take that. Oh, the inventory. It's always full. Why is the inventory always full? What's that? 
Oh, that's that new sharpening stone. It gives you armor penetration. That's kind of cool. All right. So we need to put Piggy down. And as always, drop all our loot in there. And as always, I'm keeping my ever-growing fortunes in the Piggy to keep it safe. Because I tend to blow up a lot when I play this game for some reason. <laughs> okay. Ooh, okay, some more potions, all that good stuff. Let's take that. Do I need the goblin statue? Not really. But let's grab it. Let's grab it because it's cool. Another goblin army. We just fought one. You want me to fight another one? What do you want from me, game? Ah, Moonglow. Excellent. And another life crystal. We're almost full health. Never going to say no to a life crystal. Unless we had full life. I suppose. <sighs> okay. Let's see. Is there anything good down this side passage? Nope. Alright, still looking for this beehive. Ah, that's the lizard temple by the looks of it. Hey, hey, we found the temple. Cool. That's pretty cool. And... Is that... Is that inside the temple or outside? Ah, we found the door. Gee, this was tucked away. Gosh. Shelly, what are you doing in there? How'd you get in the temple? VIP. I want access. Okay, let's um... Let's make our way down. I can see an empty area down here. And empty means more places to explore. Which is always a good thing. Ah, it's a piranha party! Yes! Give me another hat! This time I won't drop it. <laughs> oh, piranha parties. Goodness. Okay. What's in this one? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Man-eater can get me. No, 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 no. Man, those things don't suffer from knockback. Which is a bit scary. Oh, yes. I need that. I need that for lightning boots. So we've got the shackle, the anklet, we just need the aglet now. And I'm going to collect the iridescent. Wow, this is a big area. Alright, let's try and beat this jungle slime. It seems if you can stand slightly under them, it's a bit, bit easier. Oh no, there's the hive! Yes! We found it! Excellent. I was hoping we'd find it soon. Excellent. This is so good. Hmm. Well, let's just... <laughs> Listen, B. Just let me in the hive. Oh my gosh. Gee, those little baby bees are poning us. Just leave me alone, B. <gasps> no! Not again! Why do... Why does this keep happening to me? Oh my god. Oh no. The the lava was under the honey. Why? Why does this happen to me? Oh no. Oh, I'm trying to get platforms. Oh, stop making stairs! <laughs> okay, it's better than nothing. <laughs> Alright. Okay, time for fighting. Okay guys, thanks as always for watching another episode of our Expert Mode playthrough for Terraria 1.3. I'm having a great time in this series and I can't believe that I accidentally summoned the Queen Bee again. That's twice now. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> Why is the lava in the honey? Oh. And I mean like um, insects lava, not like, you know, red hot magma lava. Anyway, <laughs> it's time for some shout outs. Uh, we've got Billy Kumquats has asked me to say the old favorite tongue twister. So I'm going to try and say it without messing up. <gasps> Peter Piper picks a pack of peckled pip. No, messed it up. I tried. I tried. Okay, we've got James Lloyd who's asked me to get my Darth Vader voice on. So... <sighs> Luke, I am your father. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, not bad. <laughs> I'm working on it. Okay, we've got Rockhog, who apparently is asked me to say the first shout-out he's ever asked me, and I need to summon 
If I'm going to be doing shoutouts while this is on, oh my gosh, and I'm frozen in spa spot. Uh oh. Holy moly. Sorry guys. In expert mode, the vortex, um, if you get disabled by gravity, it doesn't just make you move funny, it actually freezes you in the spot, which is... Really dangerous. <laughs> okay, sorry. Rock Hogs asked me to say the first shout out he ever asked me to say, which is how many rocks would a rock hog rock if a rock hog rock hog blah, 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 rock hog rock hog rocks <laughs> rockety rockety hog hogs. There you go. I messed that up so good. Okay, we've got Infinite Soup. What a cool username, Infinite Soup. It's just soup for days, guys. Has asked me to say peanut butter. That's it, just peanut, just peanut butter. Okay, cool, peanut butter, I love it. Uh, well, it's, peanut butter's pretty good. And we, to finish this off today, we've got Dragon Slayer 0729 has asked me to say super supercalifragilisticexpialidocious three times. Whoa. Okay, let's try it. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious! Yeah! Kind of got it out and almost wanted to start singing it. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, hopefully you guys haven't got the song in your head now. Okay, leave a like if you've enjoyed uh, this episode of our Expert Mode playthrough. Uh, we're rapidly approaching hard mode and we're doing alright. <laughs> um, I don't know if we're going to beat the Queen Bee. You'll have to find out tomorrow in tomorrow's episode. Uh, keep those comments coming for suggestions that you've got for our series. Um, you know, I'm more than happy to include things that you guys suggest, so yeah, keep it coming. And uh, last but not least, uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, click that little HD icon in the bottom right corner, you won't be disappointed. And here's the most important thing, as always, you guys stay happy, and I'll see you next time as I'm fighting the Vortex Pillar here. See ya! And that means that ectoplasm will be, yeah, getting farmed nicely. And you can see that was dead easy to set up that. So the mobs can cruise up the sides. The mimics can get in, which is one of the main things. Yeah, we've got lots of good loot. Just, just oh, he's got 3,000 health! He's only got 3,000!